Okay, student, let's see what is there in this question. Two objects of mass capital M are connected by a weightless rod of length D. A force F is applied to each of the objects at right angles to the rod. Okay, this is a rod, but weightless rod. Okay, this is a very important concept that this is a rod, but the rod is not having any mass. So there will be no moment of inertia because of rod. So only two masses will be considered, not the rod. Be very careful, otherwise the moment of inertia should be given to you. What is the torque acting on the system? Let us first find the torque. See, there are two methods to find the torque. So what is the torque acting on the system about the midpoint? So here, the pivot point is already given to you in the question that the center of the rod will be taken as the pivot point. So this makes things very simple. We can find the torque due to this force. We can find torque due to this force. Both of them are anti-clockwise. So both of them will be added up. So you can find the total torque. So total torque is coming out to be F into D by 2 plus F into D by 2, which is coming out to be FD. Now the second method to find the torque is couple. Couple. What is happening in this couple? Couple is when the um, hinge point is not given or there is no pivot point. Try to understand. It is a rod. Force is applied on it, but it is not hinged anywhere. It is given in the question that you can use the midpoint as the pivot point, but it might not be given to you in some other question. Then what? If it is not given, in those cases, we just assume the couple. Or you can say we just assume that the center point is the pivot point. But in the case of couple, what we do, it is the product of the force with the perpendicular distance between the two forces, which in this case is clearly D. And hence the total torque or the couple is FD, which is the same as this. So these are two different methods in which we can find the torque. You can do whatever you are comfortable with. Now, moving to the next question. What is the angular acceleration of the system? So clearly the torque is this. We want to find the angular acceleration. So torque is F into D and torque will be equal to I alpha. So we want to find the moment of inertia now and with the help of that we can find the alpha anytime, no problem. What is the moment of inertia of this system of particle? There is only this particle and this. there are only two particles with mass. The rod is there, but mass is not in the rod. So we are going to neglect it. So only two masses will be considered. And the pivot point is assumed to be D by two distance away. So you can find the moment of inertia for the first body. It is M into D by two square plus the moment of inertia for the second one, which is M D by two square. So this is coming out to be md square by 4 plus md square by 4, which is equal to md square divided by 2. So this is the moment of inertia. We are just going to plug this value into this equation. We will find alpha. Torque is F into D is equal to I alpha D and D gets cancelled out. 2F2 2 is cross multiplied, M and D goes to the denominator. So alpha is equal to 2F by MD. Hence, A is the correct answer for this question. This is how we do this question. Thanks for watching the video. Please join the YouTube channel. If you want to learn the topic that is A4, all the videos, all the video lectures have been uploaded for A1, A2, A3 and A4 on the YouTube channel. So what are you waiting for? Join the YouTube channel, watch the videos and become perfect in this. All the best.